All right, folks, thanks for checking out the video. I want to talk today about an article in Wired Magazine online uh, that says why we don't recommend ring cameras. They're affordable and ubiquitous, but homeowners shouldn't be able to act as vigilantes. So did you know that if you have a ring camera, you might be a vigilante? Stay tuned. It says, most of the time, product testing is pretty simple. If a router is better and more featureful than another with a similar price, then you give it a better score and move on with your day. However, we occasionally end up with products that can be dangerous to you or to society in general, which we believe to be the case with Amazon-owned Ring and its relationship with law enforcement. When you set up a Ring camera, you are automatically enrolled in the Neighbors service. You can go into the Ring app settings and toggle off the Neighbors feed integration and notifications, but the onus is on you. Neighbors, which is also a standalone app, shows you an activity feed from all nearby Ring camera owners with posts about found dogs, stolen hoses, and a safety report that shows how many calls for service, violent or nonviolent, were made in the past week. It also provides an outlet for public safety agencies like local police and fire departments to broadcast information widely. But it also allows ring owners to send videos they've captured with their ring video doorbell cameras and outdoor security cameras to law enforcement. This is a feature unique to ring. Even Nextdoor removed its forward to police feature in 2020, which allowed Nextdoor users to forward their own safety posts to local law enforcement agencies. If a crime has been committed, law enforcement should obtain a warrant to access civilian video footage. So this is interesting here because they're talking about users voluntarily sending their video of a, an alleged crime to law enforcement, not law enforcement you know, going into somebody's account or, or going into their video archive and grabbing the footage. So in this case, a warrant would be unnecessary. So that's a, that's a straw man argument here. That goes on to say, multiple members of Wired's gear team have spoken to Ring over the years about this feature. The company has been clear it's what customers want, even though there's no evidence that more video surveillance footage keeps communities safer. Okay, so imagine that, a company giving their customers what they want. That to me seems to be business 101, and, and that's part of the reason why the ring cameras are as popular as they are. Now she goes on to say here, there's, there's no evidence that more video surveillance footage keeps communities safer. Okay, maybe that's the case. I don't know. But then in the next sentence here, she says, instead, neighbors increases the possibility of racial profiling. Doesn't give any evidence that that's the case. Uh, it goes on to say it makes it easier for both private citizens and law enforcement agencies to target certain groups for suspicion of crime based on skin color, ethnicity, religion, or country of origin. Now, how is that the case? All a ring camera does is records. So if no crime is committed, there's no video of a crime. If a crime is committed and you have a camera, it'll capture it. Uh, we have been concerned about this issue since Ring started partnering with police departments to hand out free video cameras. Via the neighbor's public safety services within the app, law enforcement can create requests for assistance and neighbors can contact camera owners directly for footage. We believe this feature should not exist. When we interviewed Nextdoor CEO Sarah Fryer on steps the company was taking to reduce racial profiling, again, no evidence that that's happening. Fryer cited the work of Jennifer Eberhardt, a Stanford professor whose work on the psychological associations between race and crime won her a MacArthur Genius Grant. Oh, the, the prestigious MacArthur Genius Grant. So uh, much of Eberhardt's work revolves around decision points. The more you make people stop and think before they act, the less likely they are to engage in unconscious racial bias. Putting a frictionless feature directly in the neighbors makes it that much easier for ring owners to bombard law enforcement with unsubstantiated and possibly biased alarms. 
Now, do you think local law enforcement wants to be bombarded with unsubstantiated and biased alarms? No, they don't, because that's obviously not happening. Uh, it says, it is important to note here that law enforcement is legally not allowed to access your personal videos or information without your permission. Well, duh. Law enforcement agencies must cite an active investigation within a time and geographic range and cannot solicit information on lawful activities like protesting. Ring is not allowed to access your video data either, though that hasn't stopped it before. When the company improperly allowed employees and contractors to survey Customers illegally, the Federal Trade Commission slapped the company with a proposed order earlier this year to delete the video from or delete the data from videos that employees viewed unlawfully, issued $5.8 million in consumer refunds, and implement a stringent privacy and security program. So very interesting here. So so even something like Wired, which is supposed to exist as a tech review or general information platform is getting into politics, getting into, you know, so-called social justice. So this, this article is attributed to um, an Adrian, Adrian. So, but then she goes on to say that I suppose other uh, members of the wired team are, uh, behind this article. So again, no evidence of racial profiling. All this thing does is capture video. So if people aren't committing crimes, there's nothing, there's nothing that they could possibly be profiled for. And a lot of times, and, and of course, you know, any, anything uh, can, can be misused as, as we saw with, um, apparently Amazon or people at Ring um, unlawfully accessing these. And, and certainly that's that's a concern and that's something to consider if you're going to get one of these things. But to say that, oh, people are, people are vigilantes by sending law enforcement videos of crimes. I mean, come on. That's just, that's just BS. That's, that's not even the definition of what it means to be a vigilante. So I would... Love to have a conversation with this uh, Adrian So uh, about this topic because she's completely off base here. So, anyways, uh, let me know what you all think. Do do you do you have ring cameras? What's what's been your what's been your experience with these? Do you do you like them? Do you not like them? So, let me know what you all think. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.